Welcome back to SnowRunner. This is my speed run. And let me see if the chat will work today. And I think it will. Alright, so where were we? When I left off here yesterday, uh, I have to deliver the Huntsman's car. And it needs to be delivered way over here. Uh, I've got a watchtower here to pick up and an upgrade over here to get. Uh, we'll slide over here and there should be a trailer in here to discover. Uh, one to discover over here and that watchtower and an upgrade up here. So those are my goals. And let's see how it works out for me. Handy dandy little fuel tanker here. And we'll attach our winch. And it should follow along nicely. Not worried about reeling it in because I'm getting ready to drop all of this stuff off right about after I fill up the gas. Little carrier. That's the one I want. So I have been working on the hardcore mode, not near as much as I should be. Uh, I'm getting ready to go into Alaska, and I believe what I'm going to do is hit Alaska, and then I am going to just go ahead and jump over to the new map. And when I get to the new map, I'll start doing the recordings and play the new map in hardcore mode. Because I really want to see what the new map is like. And there's two new trucks over there. I think. There are two new trucks and it says I have to discover Alright, so this is a bigger engine for the CLT 9000. I do need that. Because I am going to run the CLT 9000. That's the uh, Ford cab over. And surprisingly, even though it is not all wheel drive, it runs pretty good on this map and. Uh, runs pretty good on this map and on Alaska. Can use it a little bit over in Russia. But Russia's got a lot of mud. And it's a big drawback that it you uh, can't get all-wheel drive for. That I know of. You might be able to get all-wheel drive on the new maps. I have no idea what the new maps are like. I don't know what you can find over there. I don't know what they have added. And I have done that on purpose. Because I want to experience everything myself. Now, I don't mind hints. But I think the maps are a lot more fun when you don't know anything about them. Alright, I have actually three trailers to discover over here. Fuel tanker, maintenance tanker, or maintenance trailer, and there should be a flatbed with some stuff on it that I need. So 
there is my flatbed. And we'll go ahead and make this delivery. Oh, I forgot. I'm pulling a trailer. So if I'm pulling a trailer and then pulling the scout behind me, uh, it will not let me deliver. Even though now I am pulling the scout behind me. But I can deliver. Some extra money. And one more tiny mission out of the way. So, let's back up. And discover this. So it has three metal beams on it. I will need those. Or two metal beams, excuse me. Uh, I do have another metal beam that I brought over. Oh, no. I wasn't paying attention where I was going. Come on, baby. Knew better than to get close to here. Alright, let's do a take two, except we will go the other way. Yeah, that way's really muddy. Yeah, I think once I get Alaska done, I should be set up well enough to... I may go ahead and go get the um, Tatron and the Tega from Russia. And I might even run over and grab the F-750, the upgrades for it, and the upgrade for the twin steer. What the wrong way to I sure did. Okay, but I might be able to get through. Yeah, I can get through here, but I'll have to come back and well, not really. I can discover the maintenance trailer later. Talking and not paying attention where I was going. Story of my life. So I can't remember if I can fill up this little tanker like this or if I will have to hook the big one up. So if you care. Yes, it will. All right. And then should have went Well, I can refill out of it. Alright, go ahead and get 
that mission. A little help from my friend. Park you, uh, park you on up here because I will come back. And that. All right, watchtower and upgrades. And I may go over and get this other watchtower, even though I can't take the easy path to it. I'll have to go up over the mountain. And I might as well do it. I won't do it in the Chevy. Chevy has an issue with tipping over. I think this truck is stable enough to get over out. And this truck is too wide to go through the easy path. Great location found. Which is up here, and it should be an upgrade for the inner uh, for the uh, try not to crash. Uh, anyway, should be an upgrade for the Western Star. So, yep, brace suspension for the Western. No, I was wrong. Kodiak C70. And I did get the all wheel drive unit for the C7 while I was in Alaska. So, I may buy the Kodiak back me an extra truck with all-wheel drive race suspension and Kodiak is a lot better as uh, better than I gave it credit for in any of my other playthroughs so I definitely want to use it it proved itself over in the Yukon Valley the Yukon I kind of wrote it off because it was a single rear axle. Didn't think it would be very good. And I was wrong. So, maybe doing a change here at some point in my life. Um, went to a job interview the other day. A private company. Basically doing the same thing I'm doing now for the government. Uh, they pay a little bit more. seem to like me. Uh, Got to do a little more research on the company. 
normally I would go. Is it up in here? I don't know. Normally I would go over here and then cut through these, the gap in the rocks here. But this truck is too big for that and the trees are too close to be able to do that. And I haven't thought about, well, no, I can't get around it. So let's try going up the hill here. Anyway, they're supposed to uh, call me back, let me know how I did, and weather, well, let me know benefits packages and stuff like that. Tell them I would not make a decision unless I knew everything, and from what they said, their uh, insurance, which is a big reason I'm still at my job, insurance is comparable to what I have. Nowadays, you've got to have good insurance. Ooh. Can I get through here? Oh, no. I thought I could actually get through that. Oh, uh, tell me I can reach up there. No, I can't. Well. I may have screwed up. I do believe that's wedged in there good. Uh, bigger tree. Uh, well, let me get that up. That's a good one. Looks like there's smoke. Alright, so I have wedged myself in here real good. And I am nowhere on the ground. Alright, so much for that idea. So it looks like I'm going to have to get... Well, I could bring the Fleet Star up. I'm going to have to. Shut you off. And I need to bring the Fleet Star this way. I saw that. I saw the gap was a little too small. And I thought, eh, I can probably bounce my way through it. Oops. That's all right. This will give me the opportunity to pull the fuel tanker out to where I can use it and go get the maintenance trailer and bring it out where I can use it. And then I can still do the uh, fire barrels because I'll be over in that area. And that's the reason I brought this truck over here was for that mission because I need a crane. All the other missions I can do without a crane. And the cranes weigh so much that I didn't want to bring another truck over here with a crane and then do a bunch of missions with that crane attached. That one took 
go for me. So I've mentioned before how my wife's Jeep is on its last legs. I have have asked a couple mechanics what they thought about it. And one of them seems to know what he's talking about. Uh, but he's expensive. And the problem he thinks it is is something that I can actually fix. He thinks I have a broken lifter. I am off tomorrow, I'm going to take my wife to work, drop her off, come back and pull her valve covers off, and check her lifters on the next side. If that is the problem, then I may go down and just buy all new lifters, and maybe even a camshaft. Just replace all that stuff while I've got it apart. I'm really hoping that's an issue. Again, that's something I can fix. And all the money that she's got saved up for another vehicle, which she can't find anything she likes. I may take some of that money down and buy me a motorcycle. later when I go get the others. I'd like to leave that one there as a reminder I still have to do that mission. Oh that's right I still got you out here. Forgot about that one. So for those of y'all that don't know you can open up this entire map. You could even go over and do this mission where you got to find the uh, where those flags are. This area will continue to be dark like this, and there is a scout fuel carrier in here. And the map will not tell you about it while it's in that darkened area. So don't forget to go up here and get that. It's one of four different trailers that are hidden on the map. Uh, the other one being a scout fuel carrier that I got in one of the previous episodes when I got the uh, twin steer. It's way on the other side of the map. And you have in the middle of the map, you have a, another fuel tanker. Oh, and you got one up on the hill here too. And then you have that maintenance truck. A lot of trailers in this one. Also still have the uh, big tanker, fuel tanker that I need to go pick up. It is on this one. All right, I think I'm gonna try one of those. It's actually a shorter route. Don't remember how bad the road is. So we'll check it out. And right there is the gap that I can squeeze a pickup into. But the load starts just too big. And evidently it's too big for the other one too. I thought I could get up here. I definitely don't want to go this way. 
I thought there was another road that came over here. So let's go back and head up the other way. This truck is too big to get through that gap also. I have tried that. And it does not work. So I will leave this one. Once I get the load star out, I'll just leave this one because I am going to bring uh, the Chevy over here. I need it for another mission. I'll bring it over here and pick up this. Watch out for these grabby ass trees. Get up here without flipping. Nice, neat. half tempted to use the crane and see if I can pick the back end of that truck up and shove it on in there. But I'm worried if I try that I may flip it over and I don't have the autonomous winch on. But if it doesn't roll for too far where at least I can get well actually I don't have to worry about it because being up against that rock will keep it from tipping over uh, let's activate the anchor on that side and you sitting there. Ta-da! I'll watch this whole one because it took me a while to do this one. And now... or another way could go up 
this road, but this is really narrow too. And I'll probably have issues trying to get it through there. So. can't get through the trees. I could try to get through the trees here. Let me try. While I still got a little bit of daylight. Let's see if I can find a tiny path. See, that's a road that leads on up. That's bad. Let's try through here. Well, you can get over here with a bigger truck. Alright, that works. I'll go over and get the trailer and I will make sure that I can get the fleet star down. Turn it up. Alright buddy, did a good job. Let's see if we can get you home. And there's still crane. Oh. Rocks are messing with my camera. Ah, the Fleet Star. Don't write it off. It will surprise you sometimes. Okay, so it will, well, yeah, we'll do that later. Because I have some other things I need to get with load stuff. So that I can go over and... Western Star fixed up. Just have one more upgrade, and there is a fuel tanker up here that I need to discover. I gotta get boogie in on all these missions. I don't think I'm gonna make the 33 day uh, like I did in the original. Simply because there are more missions than when I originally did it. 
and those missions took a little bit longer. So I haven't checked in a while, but I'm going to check uh, tonight. I got some videos processing and some stuff out on the old UB Tubi tonight. But I'm also going to look and see if anybody else is doing a speed run. I'd like to be able to compare how well I'm doing to what they're doing. And it wouldn't really be a good comparison unless they're doing you know, basically the same things I'm doing. Like, I'm not using any mods. No modded trucks. Uh, no recovery. Can't pass that road, did I? Nope, it's right here. Alright, go off. Fill you up first. fuel tanker have no idea how somebody got this up here now we'll go for the upper can you tell I've done this before No, because I don't know where the heck I'm going. Uh, where's that upgrade? Yeah, that's right. I don't need to go this way. Always miss that road. It's hidden. I've been trying to figure out what kind of motorcycle that I want. I've always ridden cruisers. I love cruisers. And I really would like to try out a sport one. And that is my engagement for a White Western Star. looked at bikes in 2019 really fell in love with that uh, Ninja 400 because I don't need much I am way past my wild and crazy days of doing stupid stuff on motorcycles and I really like it because it has analog brakes fairly decent on gas and the handlebars are higher than most sport bikes. They're not leaned over as much. Prerequisite for an old man. I don't want to be bent over a bike for extended periods of time. But it's something I'll just, you know, like ride to work and you know, just go cruising. I don't need something that does 185 miles an hour. At all. I 
but I know that if I get a bike, my daughter is going to be all over me to teach her how to ride. Which I can do. I used to be a motorcycle instructor in the military. When I was stationed overseas, stationed in Italy for four years, I was an instructor, and if you wanted to ride a motorcycle in Italy, you had to go through either my course or a guy in Germany to go through his course. Oh, I should have been. But I want to get rid of this trailer. I have another fuel trailer over here. So get rid of this one. Get a little bit more money and then go do some upgrades. And get the white western star over here. That's where I've got to deliver the pickup truck. And we'll take a quick trip over here to the trailer store. Also should have a trailer up. Yep. There's one more there. So fill up, get rid of it. I'm not gonna need it either. One thing you do not have to worry about, there is no gas station over here. But there is no shortage of fuel tankers. And I didn't fill up. Voice is a little hoarse today. I've been teaching all day. And we might as well come over here. Discover this trailer. And I'm not interested. Let's try it now. I can fill up from here. And where is that other one? That way. Thinking this is the last watchtower. Maybe. No, I've got the other watchtower over here. Dang it, that's one of the reasons I was going to the... Oh, and that one, too. How did I miss that one?
Uh, I was supposed to come over here, get that, get this, and then go that way. I forgot. But I need to come over here and pick up this fuel trailer anyway. Alright, two more wash time. Not as good as I thought I was. And I keep banging up my head. But I'm causing a lot less damage since I went over and got the suspension upgrade. Alright, so I'm going to go get this trailer. Get this watchtower, then I'm gonna go for the Chevy truck. Get it taken care of because when I bring the White Western Star over here, it can actually get the other watchtower. Won't be a problem. Oh, this road hates me so much. Could be due to the fact that I've got a lead finger. I speed up when I should slow down. Slowing down is no fun though. Signal in the mountains. I would do all that together. Um, you know, while I'm here, since I've got to go get that, I might as well take care of the flags. I have enough fuel for it. I can come over here, I can do the flags, which go all the way around here, comes back out here, pick up the trailer, and then come down here and get the last flag down there. That'll work. That's the way I'm going to be heading in. And this road's not too bad. There is one area though that if you're not careful you're going to flip over. I could get that mission up here. Uh, that way I can see him. For my friends. What? Did it not give me credit for that one? Oh, it did. Okay. Oh, there's seven points. I was thinking there were six. Autonomous winch means no taking chances. 
Well, not take a minute. Hit it too fast, you're gonna fail. some repairs. Actually, no, I won't. Because if I do repairs, then I've got to get it back to Smithfield Dam in order to put the repairs back on. So I'd rather wait till I bring the uh, Western Star over here, and the Western Star can get the other maintenance trailer that's down there, and fix me back up for free. And I won't use any of my repair ones. All right, should have plenty of money now. Everything I want to do to it. So we'll get back over here to the. I usually have problems out of this one. As soon as I discovered it rolls over. But it didn't roll over. Weird. Probably still roll over when I try to hook to it. Though the last time I hooked to it I didn't roll it. It was the only time I've ever done it and not and the trailer didn't roll over on its side. Another reason for having the fleet star over here still. Get that steel up and put it back in the trailer. Definitely going to need that maintenance truck. I actually think I've already used some of my repair points. I don't think I have many left in this truck. So I have that fuel trail. It's the other hidden one. And did bring it over. Good. 
All right, global map. Let's head back to Smithfield Dam and get my buddy. My favorite is truck in the game. Hopefully I've gotten all the upgrades. Come on. There you go. And there she is. Though I don't like the orange. I like orange. I just don't think orange looks good on this truck. Bob is sleeping. There you are. Alright, so I already put the engine in it. Already have that on it. And I've got that. Tires. I should be able to get off road tires, the good ones. And I like those. So the original. Winch extended medium diff lock snorkel. What do I need for the other snorkel? Twelve. I'm almost there. And I've already got that. Already put the saddle low on. So now the pretty stuff. And I can't get that bumper till level 12. All right, let's go with that one. A little more protection than the stock one. And the, yeah, we'll go with that. I like that. And the wedge cap. Uh, rooftop. Get my lights on here. Sell you. And it's got to be black. All right, there's my buddy. Let's go have some fun. Before I do that, what did I need to take over? Put this right here. I uh, can't do the cement. Winter stores. Nope. That's over here. Development, I will be doing that while I'm over there. Eat the island. That's Drummond Island. Island Lake. So I need three medium logs and two long logs. Can I get. Let's accept that. And I don't know much about the log ones. So can I get medium logs over here? And it appears that I cannot because it's telling me I need to go over there. Which we've got a log station. I think I get the logs over here. I'll try it. Uh, signal the mountains, tough negotiations, needs wood, rusty legacy, bridge the gap, I'll need wood, and that's where I'm heading now is to go get wood. So, work 
looking for wait a minute. There it is. Concrete slabs. Service spare parts. That's the one. So I'll go ahead and drop that off while I'm heading over there. And it appears to be the end of day 18. Stop. I have a trailer over.